to the Portland Marine Electronics website. I'm Todd Carver, president of PME, and I'm here to talk to you about the TR1 Autopilot by Garmin. The TR1 Autopilot is a uh, electric over hydraulic uh, autopilot that runs uh, a kicker motor, 6 to 20 horsepower. Okay. I've been installing this product for a long time and I'll tell you this is one of the best products that has been ever made for a boat. This product allows a fisherman to have hands-free operation of his boat. If you're trying to net a fish, if you're trying to get out of the rain, get out of the sun, um, or just have that, that second person on your boat, the TR1 Autopilot does the job. With things like remote steering, um, man overboard, idle resume, zigzags, circles, step turns, three leaf clovers, and spiral search patterns. And what's nice about the unit is it interfaces with the GPS. You can do waypoint navigation, waypoint to waypoint, or route navigation, waypoint to waypoint to waypoint. Um, a lot of people use this feature uh, by putting waypoints along a depth contour and being able to follow a depth line with their boats. The man overboard feature of the TR1 Autopilot basically does a Williamson turn, um, turns the boat around and brings it back to the same point. The idle and resume feature, if you hook a fish and you hit the idle button, it takes this motor down to an idle as quickly as possible. You fight your fish, you land it, and you want to go back to the exact same trolling speed. You hit the, the idle, the resume button, and it takes you right back to the exact same trolling speed that you were at. If you've already figured out that perfect roll or turn on your herring or spinner, you're right back in the same target as you were before you hooked the first fish. The autopilot also allows you to do zigzags. Um, a slow S turn heading up the river or across the lake covers more water. There's a step turn feature that is a pre-programmed determined uh, distance or, or degree of turn and um, about 10 different settings. Um, very common is the 15 and 30 degree turns. Circles can be done either by distance or by time. Uh, by time, uh, you raise and lower the throttle and the size of the circle increases or decreases also. Orbiting waypoint is done by distance and you set a waypoint and you put your boat a certain amount of distance away from the waypoint and the boat will maintain that distance and, and orbit that waypoint. Three leaf clovers, spiral search patterns, also a GPS function of the TR1 Autopilot. The TR1 Autopilot also has a reverse feature and this is used a lot in the Pacific Northwest um, for windy days or possibly incoming tides down at Kalama um, or up on the Columbia. And what you do is um, you shift your auto, your motor into reverse and you hold down the reverse button and you push the auto button and the autopilot thinks backwards. It is the, one of the only autopilots that will actually go in reverse. This allows you to pin in one spot and hold and quit from blowing around in the river. Some of the benefits of the TR1 autopilot, one of the most important is the throttle control. Um, unlike your tiller handle here, that gets about when you adjust your tiller handle on the river, you'll sometimes find that it's hard to find that exact trolling speed. 150 to 300 RPMs, depending on your motor brand, is the minimum adjustment. With the TR1 Autopilot, you're going to receive 30 to 90 RPM increments on your throttle, adjusting your throttle. Uh, this allows for the kokanee fishermen or the salmon fishermen to troll into that exact speed that they're looking for or get that precise roll on their herring or their spinner. 
Other benefits of the TR1, like I mentioned before, is the reverse. Reverse is very important for uh, people that are trying to fish in, in less than ideal conditions. This is the cylinder for the TR1 Autopilot. It's the hydraulic actuator that, that moves the engine back and forth. And this is the bracket kit that holds the cylinder in place. These components are designed for salt water, uh, virtually indestructible now, and is overall really reliable. This is the pump manifold fold and ECU of the autopilot. This is what does the hydro, uh, hydraulic pressure and the steering and uh, all the functions of the autopilot. Um, as you can see, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people ask, well, where am I going to put this? Uh, they can be mounted pretty much anywhere in the back of the boat within about six to nine feet of the motor. If you have any questions about TR1 autopilot, you're thinking about putting it on, please give me a call. Give me the opportunity to educate you on this product and what it can do for you.